As we gear up for this weekend's 40th Juno Awards, we've been taking a look at Canadian music over the past four decades. Today, we've made it into the 2000s, a decade that proves when it comes to Canadian music, anything goes. I loved the Canadian music scene in the 2000s because it was everything. You know, we saw a young punk girl come out of Daphne Avril Lavigne and all of a sudden become a superstar. Diana Krall emerged as a top jazz artist uh, around the world. I look at Canadian rock. What is Canadian rock in the 2000s? On one hand, you had Meat and Potatoes band Nickelback over here. Then you've got Arcade Fire on Montreal on the other side, which is, you know, a completely alternative independent band. You know what is interesting right now, this moment uh, in Canadian music, is Justin Bieber and Drake. And Justin Bieber, make no bones about it, is one of the biggest stars in the world right now. That says a lot about Canadian music as well. And it says a lot about the social networking. Justin Bieber is an artist um, truly that was made by the internet. And uh, who cannot love Drake? Who didn't you know, follow him in Degrassi High? You know, to have his success accepted it was one of the top artists. So I mean, those are pretty good successes. I better find your loving, I better find your heart. And what does that say about Canadian music? It says we're diverse, we're different, and you know there's choices for everybody. And we still had our veterans. We still had Brian Adams, uh, the, the biggest act in uh, the Far East. Leonard Cohen, you know, beginning a tour that keeps going on and on and on and on. for me in 2000 in Canadian music was CTV taking over the Junos. Live from My One Stadium in St. John's, it's the 2002 Juno Awards. CTV came in with fresh energies and brought a real excitement to the Junos. We had newer artists coming in, you know, people like obviously like the Nickelback, Davril Levine, Alanis Morissette in her nude suit was a highlight for me out in Edmonton. And do this. CTV stepped up and just remade the Junos to the fact that it really truly is a celebration of Canadian music. And when you think of the Junos from where it came in a small, small room at the St. Lawrence Hall, you know, with less than 60 people, into this massive national celebration that is the Juno Awards today. We 